We kayak 116 kilometers through the Boron Lake circuit in British Columbia in Canada. Welcome to the Boron Lake Provincial Park, a 116 kilometer chain of 10 lakes in British Columbia's Caribou Mountains. In this video, we're taking you through a canoe adventure where we'll paddle 105 kilometers and carry a canoe for 11 kilometers over 10 portage. We're a group of seven, three of us in a canoe and four of us in kayaks. We will be camping along the shore in designated campsites equipped with fire pits and bear proof food storage because there are both black and grizzly bears in the area. It usually takes between 6 to 10 days to complete the circuit and our initial plan was to do it in 8 days and 7 nights. But we did it in 5 days, paddling almost half of the circuit on the last day after our canoe sunk down the rapids on day 3. We spent 15 hours in a kayak starting at sunrise and arriving at camp under the stars. That was the hardest day I've ever had, but also the most beautiful one. To make it even harder, weather conditions change within minutes in the mountains, from sunny to sudden rain. There is no cell phone reception, it's just you, your gear, and wilderness. It is recommended that only those with some wilderness canoeing experience attend the circuit, but it wouldn't have been as fun if I knew how to paddle before starting the trip. We camped by Brown Lake for a few days before starting the adventure. The entire route was planned beforehand, but we quickly had to adapt when our canoe sank on day 3. How did we manage the rest of the adventure when 3 of us didn't have a canoe anymore? At that point, we were barely halfway through the entire circuit. 5 days in the wilderness start, no. Bowen Lake Trip 2021. Bird. We've just left the ranger station, we're on the Kibbe Lake uh, portage and we're heading up that way for two and a half kilometres with a barrel pack on my back and a kayak. Okay, we've arrived at Kibbe Lake, the end of the major portage. Glad it's over, really glad. Right behind you is bear caches, that's the bear caches that we'll be using. Here's all of our equipment, stop for lunch and then head to the second portage. We're heading out that way. Here we are paddling on the second lake on the second day. This is Indian Point Lake, I think, or Indian Head Lake, I can't remember. Um, but we're just paddling down to, to the end of the lake there that you can see in front. And that's our third portage. Um, they say it's pretty muddy, but uh, we'll see what happens once we get there. Nice calm morning this morning. We probably had about half an inch of rain last night. So everything was pretty wet this morning and pretty trying conditions. <laughs> Say something. Something. The Bowen Lake trip 2021. Bird. With, Five, the, Im two. with the immigrants. With the, with the immigrants, yeah. Yeah. We woke up this morning, everything was wet and damp. It was cold outside. But it's uh, but it sucked. It really yeah. did. It really sucked. But uh, it's better now. Okay, here we go. We're in the shelter. At so Wolverine Bay. Now you like the shelter. Now Wolverine, you your Wolverine Bay. <laughs> we're at Wolverine Bay. Yeah. And we're drying out all our gear. And then we'll pack it up and we'll move to the group site that we're supposed to be in. Yeah, no, we're not. Oh, no, Dad. You yeah, like, boy. Dad, Dad, I didn't want to be here, but I'm telling you right now, we're not moving. We're not moving. GoPro, we're not moving. Then what do we do? So they behave better group. Do we have to move them? No. We have to go back to group site. No. Eric, no, we don't. It's the end of the day. <laughs> we can stay here under the guidelines. Here we go. Uh, Out of Wolverine Bay. Campsites. There's our warming hut. 
kayaks in the background and magic views. We came from this direction this morning after it rained all, all night. Paddled down here, different valley, different weather, and we have to head down there tomorrow, tomorrow to Campsite 21, I think. And it's been pouring rain since about seven o'clock this morning. So we just camped out here and we're gonna try and ride out the rain. Cloud is slowly lifting, um, but you can see that there's quite a bit of water on the ground. And we've got all our gear out and it's all drying. No, I'm recording. Yeah. No, Rogan is clean and she's also dry because of the fire. So you guys all look like idiots. Kitchen area. We'll come over here and we'll see what the other guys are doing. Romani, I'm I'm recording Romani. when you make a perfect thing in nature GoPro like stop recording perfect. GoPro stop recording <laughs>
of a nice warm night tonight and um, go to bed as quick as we can. Okay, we've just finished uh, Lanese Lake and come through the little section of the Caribou River and now we are into Sandy Lake. This lake's famous for all its sandy beaches. You can see the end of the lake down down there a little ways. And we've got a little trip to go through a river and then we're going to pull out and portage into Spectacle Lake. And then we've got another small portage into another Spectacle Lake and then another small portage into Swan Lake. Well, here we are at Sandy Lake. We've come out of Lanese and we're at the end of Sandy. We're just about to head down the Caribou River. Kids are on the beach having lunch. We're just finishing lunch actually, and then we'll head off. Wraps for lunch with hummus, salami and cheese. Oh, here we are in Skoy Lake. Oh, we just went through the marshlands. There's the kids coming through. Only a tiny little lake. But the next one's a spectacle. Spectacle lake. A lot of swampy area, perfect for moose. It's changed drastically. Oh, we're on Skoy Lake here on the Bowron Lake chain. And uh, in front of us there, I'm not sure if you get a good viewing of it, but there's a feeding moose, a young, young male. Um, and he's just feeding on grass. There he goes, he comes up there and he's just munching on the grass. He's just been moseying along the shoreline here, looking for all the good stuff. Pretty cool. Okay, here we are, leaving Skoy Lake. In the corner, there's that feeding moose. And here's our last portage. These are the killers, these things. And the guys are getting ready to leave this one behind them in their dust now this is only a short portage this one's only about 80 meters but uh, some of them are like 2.6 k nearly 3 k and they're killers absolute killers when we get to the end here you'll be looking at spectacle lake or or the or these spectacle lakes as three of them so this is probably the best portage that we've uh, had to do the very last one on the chain now you can see the lake in the background there it's a mirror it's like a mirror and we're going to try and push hard and get all the way back to the camper tonight so hopefully we can make it if not we have campsite 50 that we were supposed to stay at tomorrow night but general consensus is that everyone would really like to push it and get home well here we are on the spectacle lakes heading back towards Bowron. Um, beautiful afternoon um, and we're going to keep on pushing kids want to go uh, and they're doing a fantastic job so we've just gone through the spectacle lakes and now we're on swan lake and just up around the corner here we'll have to veer around to the right and then we'll start heading into bower and slough where i'm hoping that we'll see a lot of moose but it's a beautiful evening for paddling just magic it's getting calmer and calmer and that's where we've come from in behind there there's Harrison, he's a legend, he's had a massive day and we're going to make it back to the trailer but we've all enjoy, enjoyed it, we've worked it as a team. So we have a bald eagle on his perch up there and he's, he might get ready to fly here. There he goes. Travelling through the channels, the canals, getting into Barren Lake. And over here, the sky just looks amazing at the moment. So 
just awesome. Hopefully it's still there when we get on the lake. 